guarding the security tape hard drive and the blacked out footage. So we looked into finding that report to see if we could locate it, and we did. However, the report was heavily redacted. But then we were able to find the unredacted FBI report, and what we discovered blew us away. You see, in the redacted report, you can barely see any of the video frames. Most of the frames are blacked out, and the ones with KJ are barely recognizable. In the unredacted report, we were able to see all the video frames in full color. The report follows KJ, Brian, and Brandon's movement throughout the school for the entire day and records where they were. Not only is this further video evidence that the Bell Boys were on campus when KJ went missing, we found something that the FBI clearly didn't want us to see. Let us put them side by side so you can see what we found. Here they are. Can you see something a little odd? Look closely. There appears to be a frame on both pages that matches. How could this be? What tipped us off is KJ's yellow folder. We were going through Brian's movements and all of a sudden, KJ's folder appeared on screen. That's right, there's a frame on KJ's side and Brian's side that is identical. The boys are standing seemingly right next to each other in the hallway. Did you see Kendrick that day? No. I did not. Seeing the alleged killer of KJ standing next to him in the hallway the day he died in school has sent chills down our spines. How did no one see this frame? How did the FBI let this go? Why did it take six years and an independent filmmaker to find this? These are all questions that may never go answered. But what we do know for sure is that we have more facts now than we ever had. And this case needs to be reopened and re-examined with a fine-tooth comb.